Dear audience, welcome back to our channel. With automotive brands like GAC Group joining the Huawei Harmony OS ecosystem, the automotive industry has once again ushered in a new wave of transformation. This dynamic demonstrates the close integration of technology with traditional industries. The application of Huawei Harmony OS not only changes the technological landscape of automobiles but also redefines the collaboration model between traditional automobile manufacturers and technology companies. The significance behind this move is far more than just technical support, it represents a deep investment and competition in the new energy vehicle market. This cooperation reflects the inevitable trend of the automotive industry towards intelligence and electrification. Against this backdrop of change, we can't help but ponder, 1. Will the application of Huawei Harmony OS in the automotive industry further accelerate the pace of transformation towards intelligence and electrification for traditional automobile manufacturers? 2. Does the participation of these automotive brands in the Harmony OS ecosystem imply a deeper layout and awareness of competition in the new energy vehicle market? 3. How does the collaboration model between technology companies and traditional automobile manufacturers shape the future development trends of the automotive industry? Zhu Yong Geng, chairman and CEO of Huawei Software Technology Company, Limited, revealed on the 15th that in the fourth quarter of this year, the company will launch the commercial version of Harmony OS next to the Galaxy version, targeting consumers. It is expected that by the end of the year, the number of native applications developed based on the Harmony OS system will exceed 5,000, eventually reaching the goal of 500,000 applications. Following this, on the 16th, GAC Group announced a piece of news, its subsidiary brand, GAC Trump Chi signed a cooperation agreement with Huawei the day before, officially becoming a part of the Harmony OS ecosystem, marking them as one of the first automotive manufacturers to join the ecosystem. It is worth mentioning that GAC Trumpchi is not the only member to join the Harmony OS native application ecosystem. In fact, on the same day, in addition to GAC Trumpchi, three other brands, namely Lantu Automobile, Leap Motor, and Kai Automobile also officially announced their integration into the Harmony OS ecosystem. Huawei, together with these four automotive brands, will jointly carry out application development based on Harmony OS Next, also known as the Galaxy version. State owned Assets Supervision and Administration Commission, SASAC, speaks out the pace of development of new energy vehicles by central enterprises is not fast enough. Deepening the implementation of the reform and enhancement action of state-owned enterprises, we should boldly explore policies and measures that are conducive to promoting the development of new energy vehicles by central enterprises, and promote enterprises to focus on innovation and transformation. On March 16, Guo Pingshan, Deputy Director of SASAC, said at the China Electric Vehicle 100 People Forum, 2024. Guo pointed out that the current pace of development of new energy vehicles by central enterprises is not fast enough, and the effectiveness is not obvious. It is urgent to accelerate efforts in aspects such as product competitiveness, market share, forward-looking, and leading technological innovation, and strive to catch up. SASAC has maintained a proactive attitude in performing its role as an investor, committed to providing as much support as possible. In order to promote enterprise development, SASAC has introduced a series of support policies, including nine key areas such as main business management, performance evaluation, financial assistance, and positive incentives, aiming to provide maximum support and solve problems for enterprises. Of particular note, on March 5 of this year, Zhang Yuzhua, director of SASAC, emphasized that the development progress of state-owned car companies in the field of new energy vehicles has been slow. Therefore, SASAC plans to adjust related policies and conduct a special performance evaluation of the three major central automobile companies in the field of new energy business, focusing on their performance in technological development, market share, and future development planning. With the intensification of market competition, 
The automotive industry has entered a period of ruthless elimination. On one hand, after 70 years of development, China's automobile industry is undergoing structural adjustments. Looking at the development path of global automotive powers, increasing industrial concentration seems to be an inevitable trend at this stage. In fulfilling the role of capital investor, SASAC has adopted a comprehensive support policy, striving to provide maximum support to enterprises within the possible scope. The institution has designed and implemented a series of comprehensive support policies, covering nine key areas including core business regulation, performance evaluation, financial assistance, and positive incentive mechanisms, ensuring that these policies are fully effective and can substantively address enterprise needs. It is worth noting that on March 5 of this year, Zhang Yuzhua, director of SASAC, pointed out that the progress of state-owned car companies in the field of new energy vehicles has been slow. In view of this, SASAC is planning to conduct targeted independent evaluations of the new energy business of the three major central automotive groups, focusing on their performance in technological progress, market share, and future development planning. In the current fierce market environment, the automotive manufacturing industry has entered a period of intense competition and elimination. Observing the evolution of China's automotive industry, it has undergone 70 years of evolution and is now facing an important structural transformation. Looking at the development process of international automotive manufacturing powers, increasing industrial concentration seems to be a common and inevitable path. At the China Electric Vehicle 100 People Forum, 2024, held recently, Huawei's senior leader Yu Chengdong revealed a significant financial transformation in the company's smart car field. For the past few years, Huawei's car business unit, BU, has been facing losses, with losses decreasing from 10 billion yuan per year to 6 billion yuan last year. Thanks to the strong performance of mid to high end models launched jointly with partners, Huawei's smart selection car business achieved profitability in the first three months of this year, and the car BU is close to achieving a balance between profit and loss. Yu Chengdong predicts that from April onwards, the department is expected to officially enter the profit-making stage, forming a stable positive development trend. Although the cost of Huawei's intelligent driving system is still relatively high, limiting its application mainly to high-end models priced above 300,000 yuan, through carefully planned smart selection car cooperation models, Huawei is promoting market recognition and sales of mid- to high-end products, helping Huawei's car BU complete the business model loop and achieve good revenue and profit support. Additionally, at the forum, Yu Chengdong also provided the latest developments of the smart selection S7, developed in cooperation with Cherry Automobile. Due to the dual impact of chip shortages and factory relocation, the launch and mass production of the Smart Selection S7 have been delayed. However, Yu Chengdong stated that the situation is expected to gradually return to normal starting from April. Huawei has already partnered with many partners in its smart car solutions business. In addition to cooperation with Cherry, Huawei's Smart Selection Car Model Cooperation List also includes Sasist, Jianghuai, and BAIC. Under the joint cooperation with Sasist, the Wanjia series models such as M5, M7, and M9 have been launched in the market and have received positive market feedback. At the same time, the Enjoy series series of the cooperation with BAIC, the first model, Enjoy S9, recently obtained certification from the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. Huawei's executive, Yu Chengdong, also mentioned that models developed in collaboration with Jianghuai will be priced at the million-level range. Specifically, the Wanjia M7 is priced above 300,000 yuan and sold 60,000 units in the first month after its launch, surpassing expectations. Meanwhile, the Wanjia M9, positioned around 500,000 yuan in the market, has accumulated nearly 60,000 orders since its launch. Yu Chengdong further announced plans to launch new products in collaboration with Jianghuai next year, with the highest price reaching 1 million yuan. Despite Huawei's limited resources, 
it is currently focusing on developing products for these four brands. In addition to the smart selection car model, Huawei also revealed the latest progress of its HI, Huawei Inside, mode. Deep Blue Automobile under Chang'an Automobile will adopt Huawei's HI mode, while Lantu Automobile and Mingxue Technology under Dongfeng Automobile will also adopt similar cooperation methods. Previously, Avita, a brand under Chang'an Automobile, used the HI mode. Earlier this year, Huawei's CarBU announced cooperation with Lantu and Mingxue Technology, making them new partners of Huawei's HI mode. Huawei has publicly stated in its performance reports that since the establishment of the Smart Car Solution Business Department, the cumulative investment has reached 3 billion US dollars, approximately 20.6 billion yuan, with a research and development team size of up to 7,000 people. In 2022, Huawei's R&D expenditure in the automotive business exceeded 10.3 billion yuan, with a total staff of over 10,000. However, such massive investment has not brought corresponding excess returns. According to Huawei's financial report for the first half of 2023, the revenue of the car BU, as the company's fifth largest business, reached 1 billion yuan, 0.3% of total revenue, making it the only business segment that is currently in deficit. Yu Chengdong previously expressed hope that the car BU would achieve profitability by 2025 indicating that Huawei's automotive business needs to abandon the strategy of exchanging losses for growth and must find a balance between sales growth and profitability. Finally, to summarize today's video, I hope it has provided some inspiration and value to you. As a veteran blogger, I am very excited about Huawei's foray into the field of intelligent automotive technology. This not only represents a significant milestone for technology giants to further penetrate traditional industries, but also signifies an unprecedented technological revolution in the automotive industry. The introduction of Huawei Harmony OS will bring more intelligent and efficient functions to automobiles, providing users with a brand new driving experience. However, with the rapid development of technology, I also feel a sense of concern. While technological advancements bring infinite possibilities, they also come with a series of potential problems. In the wave of intelligence, we cannot ignore the risks to personal privacy and data security. Additionally, the intelligent transformation of the automotive industry may lead to the disappearance of some traditional jobs, bringing certain impacts to the job market. Therefore, I suggest that governments, enterprises, and society as a whole strengthen regulation to ensure that technological development serves not only economic growth but also social stability and the well-being of the people. Furthermore, we also need to enhance awareness of personal data protection and increase vigilance against information security. Only in this way can we better meet the challenges of the era of intelligent automobiles and achieve harmonious development between technology and human society. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section. That's all for today's video, see you next time with more exciting content. Goodbye for now. For now. For now.